everybody i'm andrew jenkins and this is a quick shout out timer for um for us well just to help the various feeds catch up with us actually and to settle down and we can't wait for today's groovy show folks and uh yeah we're we're gonna mess with your heads this morning obviously because we're going out live on a monday not tuesday so it's always a tuesday apart from when it's a monday or a wednesday so we're messing with the heads today the reason for that is I'm going uh, to do a keynote speech for our sponsors, Healthy Minds Club and Cathy Heath, um, tomorrow in London. So that's why um, that's why we we're doing it today. So please use the comments to tell us you're here, so that we know we're we are live, live, live. Just waiting for the feed to come up. Oh, yeah, feeds up. Lovely. Okay, let's just have a look. And yes, we are live, and there's people on. So please. Tell us you're here. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, we're going to be hanging out with Jonas G. Thompson today, Assistive Technology and Partnership Specialist at UNICEF. What a job that is. Recent job as well. So Jonas will tell us all about that. And our theme today is obstacles, how obstacles and opposition can fuel your success. Something that probably affects all of us, right? Um, so give us a quick wave and a quick hello, Jonas. There he Hello, is. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Our very own Jonas. So Jonas has been with us since the very beginnings. And yeah, we've got people joining in. Let's thank God for that. So uh, yeah, and we've got Mrs. Moderator herself as well. And this is our sponsor's shout out. 110 10th show, folks. Boom, there we go. So with Sarah, Jonas, me, Marketing CX and Healthy Minds Club, this week's sponsors. That's today's team, folks. Wow. So let's have a quick wow. wow. And uh, yeah, so oi oi people and hi gang, it's Leaders Live Showtime, folks. And we've got people joining in from all over. That's fantastic. So we are live, live, live with Leaders Live, spreading the love, folks, spreading the love. Yabba dabba do. And uh, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed the groovy opener as well, gang. And this week, we're delighted that we've been powered by Healthy Minds Club, this week's sponsor. And look out for who's sponsoring us each week, because that may change. And oh, and please let us know if our audio is coming through OK. I've had no complaints. So there we go. I'm sure everything's coming through OK. And uh, oh, Eva, I didn't know you were in Exeter. So there you go. And uh, we'll come to the comments in a moment. So if you're new to Leaders Live, a warm, warm welcome to you. And Leaders Live is a dynamic talk show that generates business through networking, through community, through extraordinary conversations that inspire. That's our job today. And as I mentioned in the countdown, I'm Andrew Jenkins, and I host this interactive Leaders Live show weekly show uh, that's built an awesome community and here you all are um, doing well and telling and responding to us. Fantastic. So please don't be shy uh, for the rest of you. We'd love, love, love you to introduce yourself, join in, interact with the comments, chat with us, ask questions too in the feed. Um, and we've just got two, three simple rules, really. A safe community, mutual respect, and please no selling in the room. And our motto is I to the power of we. And folks, one really easy way you can show your support for this free show <laughs> And the time and effort we put in to produce this, and boy, do we put an awful lot of time into this. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com backslash leaders live using the link in the feed. And hopefully that feed will come in. We've had a bit of problem putting feed links into feeds. So um, buymeacoffee.com backslash leaders live or one word. And buy me five and you get free half hour coaching session. And LD, I still owe you that. So we need to sort that out. So uh, yeah, that's that <laughs> one. And uh, <laughs> yeah. let me just show you a test of what it works like. So it comes up like this. Yay! There we go. So just a bit of fun. And um, folks, uh, you know, smash those likes as well, those thumbs up. Um, really appreciate that. Keep loving that bell. And uh, yep. Oh, and Jonas is just dialing in again because we lost him for a moment. There he is, Jonas. Let's bring him back in. There he is. Uh, so smash those likes too. And, uh, you know, this talk show enables you to listen to some great content, but there's so much more value when you subscribe to our email list because you get leadership skills, you get teaching, you get value to equip you to lead well and you get freebies and updates. What's not to like, folks? What's not to like? And to make that real simple, we now have this single U-Tree link. Hopefully that'll be in the feed shortly if we can do that. And uh, Sarah will pop those into the chat or Tilly will um, if Tilly's on from South Africa at the moment. So if you put it all together, what do you got? Bibbidi bobbidi boo. <laughs> I'll be singing that song all day. So let's bring up our uh, guest for today. Hi, Jonas. How you doing, buddy? Our very own Jonas. <laughs> Thank you. I am very excited to be here. Oh, it, um, excited, huh? it, it has been uh, it has been some time right in the making, but I'm really, really happy to be here. And uh, good morning to everybody. 
Yeah. And um, yeah. Everybody loves Jonas. Day. So Jonas has got an incredible sense of humor, very intelligent bloke. And uh, yeah, just joined UNICEF. So um, and uh, yeah, we're going to have an inspiring discussion this morning about how obstacles and opposition can fuel your success, folks. So that's where we're heading. Mm -hmm. So give us a quick summary and a kind of just a bit of background in terms of what this means, Jonas. You know, take us on a, just a very quick um, you know, direction of travel. Where are we heading this morning? I mean, we're going to uh, to be talking about a thing that had, uh, I have used personally very much mm. in my life. I um, I never accepted people that that people's opinions of what I could do. Well, maybe I should say I'm in in a wheelchair that mm. might uh, set the scene a bit. Um, so a lot of people mm, all my life had ideas had. Uh, limitations of what I could expect of my life. And I was mm -hmm. actually at the tender age of 18, uh, given the uh, uh, opportunity to be a pensioner. And I- a pensioner uh, at 18, yeah, yeah, no, terrific. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I quite uh, said, well, thanks, but no thanks. I uh, have things to do, people mm. to see. <laughs> <laughs> Jobs to do, I like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Too busy looking good, Jonas. Yeah. So you, against all the odds, you um, you know you push through that, uh, Jonas. Yeah, which yeah. Is, that's just what, the key well, what I was yeah. about to say, basically, mm. the, 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 uh, I kind of uh, my way of responding to all these um, obstacles and people setting uh, limitations for me was actually I got more, I got more fueled from from that, and I, I first of all I wanted to uh, to prove to myself. And to everybody else, basically, that uh, being in a wheelchair had no reason to uh, to to limit me, and um, I have I have kept on doing this, and now I'm newly hired at uh, at UNICEF. Yeah, and you've turned this no limits thing into a complete strategy, and that's what we're looking at today, folks. Is you know, Jonas's approach to to push against all the odds, to you know, to to prove the naysayers wrong that you know he couldn't do this or couldn't do that, and you know, Jonas had a pretty bad start in life, and um, sometimes it's the difficult bits, you know, that actually do galvanise us into uh, and strengthen us, and we become those diamonds in the rough, right? You know, and Jonas is one of those, and we'll be looking at that today. And Jonas, you have a question for us. We did this poll the other day on look. And Jonas, you've got a, a a question based on that for the audience to kick them off. What's your yeah. question for us? I would like to know if you guys have had a moment where where the struggle from from struggle you have had a serendipity moment where you just found something completely unexpected. Brilliant. So um, yeah. So please share. An example of where you have made your own look that created a serendipity moment. Um, and that will be in the feed. There it is. Sarah just popped it in the feed. Now, there's a delay in the feed. So um, we'll pick up the interactions in the chat comments shortly because I know you've got fingers that are trying to type in answers. But please interact with us about that question. And it's in the feed right now. And just while we are waiting for that, Mrs. Moderator, let's just introduce Mrs. Moderator. How are you doing, Sarah? I'm doing really well, thank you. Apart from that, you've messed with my head on a Monday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, think that, I think there's been a good, one or two comments on that in the feed already, hasn't De it? Definitely, definitely. Oh, brilliant. So, um, yeah, it's nice to see some familiar faces on. Uh, morning, Paul Winfield. Hope you can oh, stay morning, with us. If you, if you can't, pick it up on the podcast or yeah. on YouTube. Um, Matthias, good morning. Eva, um, Morning, Ildi, oh, Maria morning, Jeffers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're all there. So we're let's, all there, hope we're, let's, let's yeah. have a bit of interaction, please, people. <laughs> Brilliant. Don't make, don't make me feel lonely on the chat. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard Sarah. Yeah, that scary Sarah is on the on the march there. So let's bring up our guest again. So and just before you start, Jonas, let's just give you a round of applause. Confetti bomb. <laughs> I just love this scene. 
Ah, brilliant. Absolutely. Happy, happy Tuesday, says somebody. <laughs> We've certainly messed, messed with people's heads this morning. Yeah, apologies for that. Yeah, it's, it's always on a Tuesday, apart from it's on a Monday. And uh, today was... Uh, it's going because... to be a long week, if you believe it's Tuesday now, and it's on Monday. <laughs> yeah, we were checking with each week. other. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, let's kick us off. You know, how did, um, you know, losing your job... Um, become the catalyst for landing your dream job you know so talk us through you know that that kind of you know, part of your career which hasn't is that that long ago i don't know so tell no us it's actually very um mm, i thought it was neat very recent. comparably recently mm. it was um as time really flies i believe it is roughly two years ago maybe two and a half year ago so yeah i remember and because you were on leaders live at that point as well so yeah you exactly, a exactly. Guest. i mean yeah. i i had i had a hard time finding uh, something to do after i had finished my education and i obviously had a specialized in exoskeletons and uh, well, assistive technology in, in general and <clears throat> at that time nobody was thinking about exoskeletons well many people basically said to me why don't you get a haircut and a normal job <laughs> and <laughs> and and i refused to either be have a haircut or uh, get a normal job because i i had a feeling that i i wanted to do something more than just sit and not that there's anything uh, uh, wrong with having a, a normal job, but that wasn't for me. I tried to have an eight to five job and I was rubbish at it. Mm. I would sell uh, robots and uh, robots were bad. I couldn't sell them because I uh, apparently was too honest. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. but basically, basically, that is uh, setting up the scene. So I was, um, I was, I was really down to uh, to my last finance basically and uh, i had this job and i was i was laid off because i i did not sell the robots and that was fair enough i i knew they were robots i couldn't sell them yeah but um, but i was uh, laid off and i really thought well that's it i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna live in a cardboard box but uh <laughs> but then uh, all of a sudden i was uh, contacted by uh, by Mitsubishi chemical Obviously, oh, I've, yes, I had done yes. a lot of uh, of work on LinkedIn prior to this uh, networking and uh, promoting myself, and I was basically uh, contacted by by um, by Mitsubishi Chemical, and they said we we have some uh, tasks. We think you're the right person to uh, to solve them. So if you could uh, go ahead and make a company, we can also pay you for doing the task. Brilliant. So and from that point of my uh, my life really uh, changed and it has been a rugged journey really really it, it, it has been there's been an amazing journey where I multiple times have been pinching my arm and saying is this really is this is really happening to me <laughs> is this, yeah. is this uh, real or is it only fantasy <laughs> Yeah, because for Mitsubishi, you were testing assistive technology, weren't you, and exoskeletons, oh, or was that somebody no, else? No, actually, for Mitsub oh. Mitsubishi hired me because mm. they uh, they needed a business developer and an innovation consultant, and that was basically what I what I was. Mm. I remember when when we had the initial meeting. Um, this is uh, this was a meeting with two uh, two high uh, high up leaders in the Mitsubishi Chemical, uh, the European. Uh, um, headquarter mm -hmm. and basically they, they asked me can you do this i had no idea if i could but i said yes <laughs> i just said yes because yeah. because i needed to say yes yeah. they they didn't want to hear i don't know they needed to hear yes so i said yeah. yes and i uh, had to figure out figure it out it. later yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. there's a good there's a good tip in that folks you know that we don't you know Sometimes we're worried about things that if we don't know about it, but the best thing to do is to say yes and figure it out as we go along and you'll learn a whole load of new stuff, which is what you did. Absolutely. The learning yeah. curve has been ridiculous in this. Yeah, but steep. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Ridiculously steep. And um, and I'm actually still working with Mitsubishi Chemical. So I'm uh, working well with them on, uh, mm. on, on, on two years now. So uh, wow. so they really, uh, really like what I'm doing. Um, and I have become a... a just in there they have a a competition where 
when companies, new companies that are working with carbon fiber, they can apply and, um, and, and I'm one of the people that is judging whether they should or should not. Wow, is, how, uh, how cool is that? Yeah, just putting it into practice, right? Jonas, let's just give you a break just for a moment. There's loads going on the feed. Let's just give you a quick break and come to Mrs. Moderator. What is going on in the feed? There's tons. Well, I'm definitely not lonely in the feed. Uh, <laughs> not, not, lots of things. Um, oh, lovely. So, yeah. Elaine Godley, we're oh, talking yeah. about luck and serendipity moments. Uh, the moment in 2015 when I was given less than 12 months to live by medics who told me I had stage four cancer. Mm. No one tells me when I'm going to die. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, just a quick stronger. shout out for Elaine there, Sarah. Um, she yeah. does this um, masterclass on cancer, re uh, recovering from cancer and kidney disease. And it's brilliant. I, I joined up recently and uh, saw her live. It's great to be on your show live, Elaine. So just shouting you out there. And uh, yeah, and, and, and it's recorded as well, which is fantastic. So good shout out for you, Elaine. Sorry, back to you, Sarah. Yeah, she says, we never <laughs> know how strong we are until we are tested. Um, yeah. Very much so. Very um, true. Ildi. Mm. Um, she's always been super stubborn and refused to be put in a box. She is <laughs> a woman um, from Eastern European, was dumped by a narcissistic partner, uh -huh. um, and decided many times to move countries, become baptized, start a coaching career, and the common serendipity moment was always there. Yeah, and there's a strong link, isn't there, Sarah, I think, between serendipity and faith and things like that. Oh, absolutely. And it's quite interesting it was, what a new community through which she's learned new things and grown exponentially. Yeah, there we go. She's well done. Fantastic. And uh, I love this comment from Elaine as well. Just catching up on the feed there. There you go, Elaine. There's your comment. So what else yeah. is going on? Oh, we've got... Uh, we've, we've got, got Carol people. Baker on the line. Good Hello, morning, Carol. Carol. Yes, yes it's Monday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well done, Carol. <laughs> Ian Price can't stay on long, but whilst he's here, he said, Jonas, you are a hero of his. Um, oh, and what I think, a lovely thing to say. Um, yeah, very nice. Yeah, somebody else said that as well. I'm just, I'll find that in a minute here we go Matthias mm. uh, one of my serendipity moments was when he was laid off during COVID-19 mm. uh, was considering new opportunities he eventually started a master's in creative thinking innovation yeah. and entrepreneurship something he loved and has given him plenty of opportunities rough yeah. times can turn out to be a blessing in disguise yeah and um, Jonas I want to wear uh, yeah. that actually for mm. me Please because that is really one of the, the the common things here, right? Is yeah. that we, when 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 faced with basically a choice, either to um, you have to uh, to take a leap of faith, faith you can only uh, you can go two ways. You can go down, or you can uh, you can continue upwards. Yeah. And uh, I really like this uh, this theme of people being uh, being faced with this choice and uh, just going for it. Yeah, and moving out that comfort zone and getting beyond that fear zone and being inspired and pushing forward, Jonas, which is a you know difficult thing to do for a lot of people. But when we do, you know, when the tough gets going, the well, what is it? The going gets tough. The tough get going. Is there a song in that somewhere? Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else, Sarah? Um, Maria Jeffers Hello, discovering Maria. coaching for herself has turned mm. her life around. Yeah. She was full of fear in so many areas of her life, fear of judgment, failing, underpinning this was the fear of change. Yeah. Um, she's told her whole perspective on life around and now enjoy every day, no matter what happens, she finds something to be grateful for. Yeah, and expert show jumper as well on horses and you know, that talk about facing your fears, uh, Maria. Fantastic. You know, and I want to uh, just shout out to, uh, to mm. Maria. You really helped me. Yeah, there you go. You really yeah. helped me, Maria. So thank you. There's some brilliant people on this feed, isn't there? You know, and just just con contributing right now is just fantastic. Yeah, it's uh, just I think the thing yeah. I like about this is that mm. it's such a supportive, inclusive community. Yeah, um, you is. know, we all help each other. Yes, mm. you have the show on a Tuesday, but there's so much that goes on in the background that people can, you know, benefit from. Apart um, from when it's you, a Monday. <laughs> well, apart, yeah, okay, apart from when it's a Monday, but yeah. there's just yeah, there is so much <laughs> in the background that if you don't dive in and explore it you don't know it's it's there and available to you so yeah, yeah there's lots that's of love in the room a, lots of love in the room here, brilliant community here we yeah. go thank you yeah it is a brilliant community elaine <laughs> look at that fantastic do you want to just shout that out sarah i can't yeah notice um, well she's been very complimentary and saying how much better you look and how proud she is of you which i think is fantastic there you go isn't that lovely um 
here we go and let's have a look she says you're welcome um you are inspiring too and then Matea says maria jeff is that is a fantastic turnaround um he's also struggled with the fear of being judged then read that 10% will be positive, 10% will be negative, and 80% don't care. <laughs> so <laughs> spend really time with the 10% that. that support you yeah. and see mm -hmm. what happens. Absolutely. Uh, Surround yourself brilliant. with people who are good for you. Oh, that's Matthias, right? Got it. Is yeah. that the one there? Yeah, got it. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Wonderful. That also goes quite, quite well into the theme of this. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, we we had this poll about luck and um i wasn't sure where this poll would be how it would be received on linkedin but it went bananas this we had over 5000 hits on this um you know is there such thing as luck and if so do we make our own luck yes but seize the moment 27% no luck is just coincidence 5% no, that's interesting um it's a mix of both effort and chance 64% and hmm i'm not sure so isn't that interesting there's a massive um, um, groundswell of belief in in luck, but you have to make your own luck as you're going along. What do you think, Jonas, to that? I completely agree, and I mm. was one of the 64% per that uh, chose that. I mean, luck is such an, uh, a funny uh, funny thing, right? Because when when people when people see entrepreneurs they they only see uh when 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 they make it through they don't see the uh the, the hard, hard work hard times when uh when mm. when people were considering a, a two-bedroom uh, cardboard box under a bridge and uh <laughs> getting up half an hour before you went to bed <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly exactly yeah. um so so what should be uh focused a lot more on is is the journey towards um eventually becoming uh, successful and and what is luck i mean i was lucky to uh to find you a couple of years ago now yeah. you were following me on, on linkedin i thought you were interesting so i immediately called you up and um, <laughs> a couple of years later now we are here right and uh, we have uh, yeah you were one of the first given... people to join leaders live and you became a consistent um a supporter of leaders live in that community and i and used this uh, yeah. this fantastic com community to uh, to gain great friends and uh, to gain uh, great contacts. And again, that's kind of uh, one of the things uh, that was talked about, the importance of finding the people that supports you. It doesn't need yeah. to be everybody. It only needs to be a, 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 select, a select handful of people that really supports you and use that support yeah. to, uh, to reach the goals you, uh, you've set out for yourself. Spot on. So, you know, what you're saying there, Jonas, if I can just read into that a little bit, I think what you're saying, I, are you saying that, look, actually networking for you has been really important and your encouragement to us is, look, don't dismiss networking. This isn't big, you know, this isn't a networking group, but it is, you know, a community is is a, a loose form of networking and it helps you to find those cheerleaders, find those people that can help you and, you know, people like, mm -hmm. um, you know, just in this feed right now, you know, Dr. Ian Price, um, Elaine, uh, Maria, Matthias, you know, they've been great supports for you as well, haven't they? You know, in terms of... Yeah, so absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm uh, <clears throat> immensely grateful for them all. Yeah. I mean, what is a network group? I've always found the, the whole mm. concept of networking groups a bit funny because then you are... Uh, now Now we really need to network. Networking <laughs> is, in my, yeah. in my mind, networking is being... Uh, becoming friends with people and, uh, and and supporting them and uh, getting support from them. That is basically your network, your network of friends, right? Yeah, and professional friends. And I, actually, I just wonder, Jonas, it's just a thought of mine, you know, just listening to you talk about that. You know, so if you think about networking, I don't know about you, but I think of things like BNI and things like that, that, that you know, actually I know a lot of people get benefit out of BNI. So I'm not dissing it, but I always found it quite hard because it was just networking and it was the expectations yeah, exactly. were really high. And I wonder whether, you know, the grown up version of networking today is this thing about community. You know, uh, uh, you know, Elaine might be able to join in on this one as well. And, you know, this whole thing about developing a community of people around you that, that is you know, more than just an expectation of networking for business 
It's about mm. mutual support. It's about helping each other. It's about being there for one another. And, you know, uh, it's more than just business, right? You know, this is about creating extraordinary support, I'm wondering. Jonas, what say you to that? I, actually, I would, uh, I would agree completely. And I, mm. I, I think it uh, plays a bit into uh, some of the themes from uh, earlier Leaders' Lives where, mm. uh, where we're going to uh, the importance of uh, integrity and the importance of being uh, honest, right? Because mm. if... If you only network, if you're going to be an I, and I was, uh, I tried to be uh, to to be an be an I a couple of times, and mm -hmm. and as you say, you're more more likely to help the people you uh, you well, not necessarily just just because you like the people, but because you have a common uh, common set of uh, values, common set of um, beliefs. I think we are we're going back to to communities now because we we need communities it has it has been all too uh, uh impersonal it yeah. has been uh, to to strictly business and that's fine but if you really want to change something you need to have people join you not because you not about because of the business opportunity but but because they believe in what you do and that is <sighs> Yeah, that perfect. is what I have uh, experienced with the people that has begun uh, supporting me in, the, yeah. in what I have done. So it's about building the importance of building the relationships, the importance of mutual support, and you know where you can have integrity, authenticity, honesty within a group. Let's just give you a moment, and there's lots going on the feed on this now to help us here. So, Mrs. Moderator, Sarah, what's going on? Oh, lots. Mm. Um, <clears throat> really interesting from Eva. Eva's lo yeah, lovely Eva. What a so lovely after comment. two traumatic years, a short mm. while back, during which we fought for our daughter's life. Oh, By the way, things yeah. are good now, and we've emerged mm. from that challenging Fantastic. period, which is amazing. Well done, Eva. Um, she said, "I had no choice but to take many things into my own hands, mm. things beyond my skills and qualifications." As daunting as the situation was at that time, I threw myself into in-depth research on the subject, reaching out to various specialists in their fields to gain as much knowledge as possible about a health topic that was entirely unfamiliar to me at the time. Mm. While I do not underestimate the support received from professionals, I'm convinced that my research, exploration of the subject and our role as parents played a crucial role in helping our child break free from the vicious cycle and once again lead a happy healthy life yes. the research she completed and the learning acquired during these trying years allowed her to discover new passions that she would now like to formalize they've also contributed significantly to her own personal growth and professional development yeah well done great mm, round of applause Eva. Story. beautiful yeah amazing. great story and actually mm. there's another one of born out of difficulty and something arrives in the crucible um and we'll talk about the crucible moment in a in a, in a moment um just a lead up for you jonas what else is going on sir yeah question for you jonas from mm. kira oh hello um, kira Kieran says, thanks to Leaders Live for bringing Jonas into my world. Jonas is inspiring, fronting up to his own challenges. Mm. The question, aside from um, the chip to prove something to yourself and others, who has inspired you? Oh, who's inspired you, Jonas? Mm. Brilliant question. Well, the, thanks, cheesy, the cheesy answer would be I, I get inspired by the people around me, but... Mm. but I mean, I have always been inspired by uh, by by the people that that really uh, went somewhere, went into uh, into the unknown. I was I was actually a lot inspired of the um, the early astronaut astronaut days in oh. uh, in the US because I mean they they were completely well they had no idea how they were going to go to the moon, but they were going to the moon. Mm. That was that was the directive they have, they have gotten, and they were going to the moon. And, um, and obviously, I'm not uh, old enough to remember uh, the actually um, the moon landings. I, but I do remember. <laughs> the, Just to let you know, I do rem I do remember uh, yeah. some of the scenes <clears throat> where they drove around on the moon and in the, in the mm. moon buggies. And uh, I, I remember as a kid, massive uh, thinking. Fine. Hell, if they can if they can drive around on the moon in a car, I can then well drive on the moon in a wheelchair. Here we yeah. go. 
There you go. So, wow. So, but but yeah. who did I? I'm I'm inspired by entrepreneurs. I'm in, inspired mm. by uh, by by people that 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 goes through the the hero's journey, right? Mm. That really persist in going somewhere because they believe it's the right thing to do. Not necessarily it's well, not to not to quote uh, uh, Kennedy, but uh, it's not because it's the easy thing to do, but because it's the hard thing to do, right? Absolutely. That, that, that mentality yeah. really inspires me. And um, yeah. But I also want to uh, to use my um, my journey to uh, to inspire other people, young people, but other people in general, and especially people with disabilities, because mm, well so many so, so many people uh, have lost completely lost uh, the confidence that they actually can make a difference. Yeah, indeed. And they can make a difference. And you just got to believe in that, right? So there's a whole piece about self-belief there, I'm, I'm wondering, mm -hmm. Jonas. And, um, you know, we talked earlier, you know, we we, we introduced the look factor thing um, um, earlier as a poll. And, you know, when we chatted, you talked about this thing called the crucible and, you know, using this as a metaphor. What does that mean? What is you know this crucible effect how can we apply this this metaphor of the putting things in a crucible what is a crucible you know, talk us through that whole point of you know how you make decisions based on this crucible effect Jonas. i love the name the crucible effect but mm. uh, in um, it is basically a uh, a part of a, a theory called effectuation, mm -hmm. and effectuation is basically uh, taking uh, taking normal business and uh, the the way of looking and looking at business normally, where you have to be a protectionist and uh, have to uh, you assume that everybody is out to uh, to get your idea and uh, and you have to uh, to keep everything everything a secret. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. The the crucible or the uh, the bird in the hand uh part of this is basically let's take my uh, my uh, my situation when i was uh, laid off as a, as, a, as a good example of this i was laid off i had to uh, to to readjust what was i going to do with my life mm -hmm. and i had to uh, take um take stock of who did who did i know who not that it was a, a question of who did I know to uh, to help me, but who did I know that could uh, I could uh, I could use to uh, to to get out of this situation? What did I personally know, and uh, what resources did I have? And uh, and combining the, the resources you have as a person with the people around you, and um, and kind of putting it all together in this uh, as as you could say uh, crucible. And seeing what what can what what will emerge from this, and it is it is basically the the opposite of going uh, uh, by a set uh, a set course. If you're following a set course, you will uh, arrive at the, the the destination that is set in the course. But if you uh, if you use gotcha. this kind of uh, um, thinking, many many different things can come up. I could have gone in many 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 different ways with my life after i i got this and uh, and to be honest i did actually go in different uh, directions i had been very very uh, focused on uh, on on exoskeletons actually i had been these are things that help people to walk isn't it they're machines yeah that, exactly, that exactly you wear on the outside um, of your legs and they help you to walk i had i had actually for uh, for a long time been uh, dodging uh, the uh, I didn't want to be the guy in the wheelchair that only worked with wheelchair stuff. That that was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to to prove to myself and to uh, to other people that I could be more than that, which is why I'm really happy to be working as an innovation consultant and um, business developer for for Mitsubishi Chemical. But in the end, I actually ended up um, working with assistive technology, which is what in the end uh, landed me the job at unicef that my knowledge about uh, assistive technology and my network and uh, that again the network is extremely valuable if you uh, apply it the right way 
Yeah, and so just just to kind of put some some more on that crucible principle or that crucible concept, folks. So a crucible is um, it's like a big melting pot, you know, and it was used for um, creating metals and mixing metals, if you like, um, heating metal up and doing things. A crucible, and the idea of the crucible principle, if I'm right, Jonas, if I'm hearing you right, is putting lots of things in the crucible. You're not quite sure about the outcomes. Mm, exactly. um, but you put things in the crucible so it's different from setting goals which you know you set a goal and you get that goal well how do you know if that's the right goal what you're saying is something bigger than that it's not about setting goals necessarily it's about putting things in a crucible and watching and waiting to see well what comes out of the crucible that could be exciting where one and one doesn't equal two where one and one equals something new right and that's yeah, what exactly. the crucible effect is. It's like producing alchemy. You're not quite sure what you're going to get, but by mixing all these things up, Jonas, you get a better, you get something better. This is about readjusting, reinventing, taking stock, you said, um, you know, things that could help you, but you've got no idea whether, you know, by putting these things in the crucible, they will actually return. But the concept is that they will return a bigger number, not just one plus one equals two. No, the is good thing right? about <clears throat> the good thing about this is it will return. Yeah, there's no, exactly. no question. Exactly. In that, yeah. There's no question. You will. Uh, there's no way you can fail this. That is the mm. thing. If you, for example, if you, uh, if you, if you are going to make a meal and it's a difficult, difficult meal, and you you're following the instructions almost to the letter, and I can uh, <laughs> blame myself here. I am not good at following <laughs> instructions. <laughs> so you so, prefer to just chuck it all in right and then but something comes I out i prefer right? to uh to to wing it all the way that is basically yeah. my way of, uh, of of thinking so uh, i i i do not respond well to uh being told what to do and uh, where to mm. go to i usually say if, uh, yeah. if, uh, if i see a lot of people going in one direction i'll uh, probably I'll go, go the in other. the other direction to see there's, what is uh there's something why magic. they're going Something magic about that, isn't it? And how many of you listening to this, you know, let's let's, let's just imagine what Leonis has just said. You know, you approach the fridge, you you know, and, and you open the fridge up and you think, okay, well, I've got, I've got, you know, I've got some beans, I've got some, you know, I've got a courgette, I've got, you know, a piece of broccoli, I've got some meat, I've got some cheese, you know. Oh, okay, so, and what you're saying is that the crucible effect is taking all those ingredients and just being, using your imagination and doing something with it and being surprised yeah, exactly. that actually exactly. you get a fantastic, could you repeat that? Probably not. Oh, and everybody that's just eaten that meal has gone, wow, that was fantastic. How did you do that, Jonas? <laughs> you kind of look yeah, at no it. I got no <laughs> idea, but it was it was bigger than me. So it might not necessarily be repeatable, but it doesn't necessarily have to be repeatable. The key thing is the concept of the crucible is the repeatable thing. That you you know, use the concept of the crucible to create fantastic I, things that happen in the future, Jonas. I would say the unpredictability mm. of the crucible ah. is what makes it uh, so great because you don't know what um, comes out in the end uh, and you need mm. to go with the the thing that makes that makes sense and 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 for me it was a, a gut feeling yeah. as i've told you andrew i have never written anything down about how i wanted to uh, to run my company so yeah. i have not i've not written a, a business plan i've not made a business plan i You've have just not gone a, for it. i have not made a, a vision mission i mean i could i could do this but this this is more limiting for me as, as i see oh, I the way i do it it's it is it's just limit what i can do mm. what nordic bionics my company what nordic mm. bionics is today is completely different from what it was in the beginning yeah. and what i thought it was going to be i have pivoted so many times that it is okay. it is a, a <laughs> it is fantastic that the name still fits. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Leaders Live was created that way. You know, I remember when I set up Leaders Live, a lot of my colleagues like you were pouring cold water on it, you know, like the experiences you've had by saying, Andrew, it'll never work because you've not thought it out. The, the title's crap. You know, I had all of this stuff from from friends and, and colleagues, you know, but Sarah stuck with me and we thought, you know, actually this is going to work. And it doesn't, you know, we didn't know what we'd, you know, we had no plan for it. We just decided that's what I just said. That's what we're going to do. And little by little, you know, it's grown. But I wanted it to be free. I want there were certain principles that I had. 
And I put them all in the crucible and just went for it. And in the end, you know, two, two and a half years later, here we are still producing some fantastic quality and content. And for you guys listening, you know, um, you know, what do you think about that crucible principle that Jonas has just um, expressed? It'd be interesting to hear what you guys think and to get some interaction from you guys. And just while we're waiting for that, let's just bring Mrs. Moderator in again for a moment. What's going on in the feed, Sarah? It's, um, um, Lots, lots of chat about community. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Elaine Godley says, developing our own community and tribe is key if we can't find a community that speaks to us. So many are salesy and pushy. We have to observe what the values are and how everyone supports each other, then decide whether to stay or move ah, on. Lovely. Yes, I like that. Yeah, without be isn't that interesting? Without being salesy and pushy, this absolutely, Elaine. And observe the values and how everyone supports each other. I really love that. Beautiful, Elaine. Thank you. What else, Sarah? Uh, let's have a look. Um, yeah, Ildi. Yeah. It's easy to make a difference. Start with just one person. No, I like this. No need to boil the ocean. The one person will then change the life of another person and another person, and that's how we reach the world. Yeah, yeah the domino mm -hmm. effect. I love that. Yeah, it's it's yeah. understanding, isn't it, as mm. if we do what we feel is right and important, then that will have an impact on like-minded people. Yeah, and Ildi also brings up this thing about trust earlier as well, Sarah, which I thought was really powerful here. And this is something that you were touching on, Yeah, She didn't use this word, but, you know, Sarah, she talks about, is it trust she talks about here? Uh, yeah, as you get to know the humans, you build trust, and then mm. of course, of course, you'll promote somebody's business who has the right values. The right so if you're in, a, so if you're yeah. in a community that yeah. with people who have values that you can relate to or mm. yet yeah, resonate with you, then of course you're going to um, promote them if if an opportunity comes up. You go, oh, I know somebody who can do that for you. Mm. Um, it's about getting to know each other, isn't it? So that you're confident then that if you do recommend somebody, you feel that you're recommending them based on actually, I think I think they're right for this and I think they'll do a good job and I trust them. Yeah, it's so the trust factor, this is an important part of community and the networking that you've got out of this community, you know, that's, you know through those trusting, supporting relationships. Um, I mean, dare I say, you know, this word love and, you know, it is really important you know and uh I, yeah beautiful what else is going on i think the crucible stuff's going yeah elaine, elaine talking about the, cru the crucible yeah. wow every day's a school day <laughs> um, as an avid snooker follower in years <laughs> gone by i used to love watching the masters players in sheffield mm. at the crucible ah. sheffield was the heart of the steel industry at the time mm. now i understand how the venue was named Thank you, Andrew. Every day is a school day. Who knows <laughs> what else we will learn today? Life is a joy when our eyes and our ears are open. Oh, life is a joy when our eyes and ears are open. Jonas, what say you to that? That's just a lovely expression, isn't it? I, I love it. Yeah. I love it. But yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Carry on, Sarah. Um, yeah, Maria, she loves when we develop ourselves to be a better version of ourselves, Absolutely. then we're heading somewhere magical. We might not know exactly where. Oh, definitely. So well said. You know, here's this is where the magic comes out, you know, where we do the very best work of our lives when we do this. I think this is what Jonas is saying here that, that you know, through this crucible effect, through the luck factor, through pushing against all the odds, you know, you produce something magical that you don't exactly know where it's going, but it, it produces something. And at that point, Jonas, and I'm just looking at you now because you're now doing your very, very best work at UNICEF. You know, you never mm -hmm. knew that was, you know, you had the idea that's what you wanted to do, but, you know, you didn't nope. put it into words. I it did just, not you know, have you... an idea that yeah. that was what I was going to do. Yeah. I, to be honest, I had, a, I had never expected that mm. UNICEF would be an opportunity for me. Uh, and then I was, uh, I was basically uh, again. It was actually via via LinkedIn stuff I did mm. on LinkedIn. I was uh, I was contacted by a, by a guy. Uh, I, a comment actually on something I I wrote that uh, I found interesting, and I, uh, I I I saw who he was, and he was. Um, Oh, I can't remember his title. It's ridiculous long. But it's, <laughs> Don't worry, you're basic, live. That's basic, why you can't remember it. Basically, um, he's head of uh, the division in, uh, in in UNICEF, where mm -hmm. uh, where they they are looking into uh, to assistive technology. 
and uh, and we got talking and he basically invited me for a cup of coffee and i was uh, over the moon uh, because <laughs> i was i had been invited uh, to coffee uh, at a un headquarters which i thought at the time was the coolest thing in the world <laughs> and and i uh, I, I went in there i remember and um, and we had a talk had a talk and mm. uh, he uh, quite quite quickly uh, said that he uh, he had a job he wanted me to apply for and unfortunately, I did not get that job because uh, they they looked at my uh, uh, less than impressive, not really a university uh, bachelor, and said ah, no. So uh, which he was not quite uh, impressed by. So he made basically made me a, a position. How good Minnesota. is that? So he made you a position against all the odds because you know you. If you looked at you on paper, you know, I'm actually. Sorry, I need to do something about this sun because it is. Uh, <laughs> well, I do. I know how what's the what's the sun shining in Denmark, but I actually need to uh, to do the something. Sun, the sun shining on you, beautiful. Well, while you're yeah, doing that, I mean, let me just pick up with Sarah. Just while you do sun. that, so. <laughs> <laughs> technical term that is Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this gets too. Uh, my uh, might actually just have. No, you're yeah, all that right. didn't work. That didn't God, work. No. <laughs> nothing. So while while Jonas is just fiddling around with his son, um, what's uh, well with the sunlight, should I say? What's going on? Anything else, Sarah, that we could just pick up on? Um, just just a further comment from Eva, mm. really. Um, no, as traumatic yeah. as our experiences have been, we succeeded no. in turning a new page in our lives, and yeah. with the knowledge and experience we've gained, mm. um, she's now in a position to give back to others what she once received. Um, yep. She supports the charity in various ways where other desperate parents seek assistance. Um, if I can help even one child and one family break free from the vicious cycle of restrictive eating disorders and psychological disruption in their lives by sharing our acquired wisdom, insights and experiences, she will consider herself a very fulfilled person. Yeah, and that's so I really like, similar to your really journey, like, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I really like yeah. it. It's yeah. very similar to, uh, to what I... Mm. Yeah, initially uh, thought actually I um, I thought if I could at least help one other person to have a better life, that would immediate that would basically be enough for me. But but the good thing about that is uh, you can uh, multiply apply this by as many as you want to. So uh, but yeah, the thing of helping people is definitely something I uh, I can. Uh, relate to yeah and to break that vicious cycle you've talked about you know disability she's talking about eating disorders here is eva but you know same thing different story right or different story same Absolutely. thing so, yeah i like it there's some learning there now you talked a little bit um about effectuation and we we in this crucible principle is there anything else about effectuation so we can look you know we can understand well what does it mean you know we talked about the crucible principle is there anything else that comes with effectuation this is our Final question. I'm just sort of hinting that we've got only a few minutes before we then need to lead into to finishing up. So we're into yeah, the last I, stretch. I see that. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a big question for uh, mm, for, it small, is for the final one. Time, but, <laughs> but, but basically, basically, I have used effectuation in mm. ever since I learned about this uh, this theory. I've uh, implemented it into my the, the way I do things, and in effectuation, uh, just to. The bird in the hand is what we call the, the crucible. If you want to look it up, Elaine. It's worth two in the bush, and, right? Mm. Um, and the bird in the hand uh, principle. And then there's the uh, the pilot and the plane, which is basically uh, basically a way of uh, dealing with change in the world. You can either be reactive or proactive with uh, yeah. change in the world, where you can you can you can try to uh, react to change in the world all you want and you will probably have a hard time uh, reacting in time whereas you can uh, you can be the force that is actually uh, changing the world to the world to to the world you want to uh, to to live in which is very much uh, again what i have been, uh, been doing with um, within my field where where i realized i was not going to be an engineer i wasn't going to uh, to 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 work in the in R and D uh, department, and uh, I I I had a vision of where I wanted things to go, and uh, luckily I was uh, I was 
I was lucky, lucky, lucky enough, sorry, to uh, to have people uh, buying into my uh, my view of uh, how things should uh, should look like. And then there's a, a very good one actually called uh, affordable uh, laws, where you where you kind of need to uh, to you have to uh, to accept that you will lose something, but you have to have a a, a set um, limit where uh, to this point and no longer. Where go on, be honest. Yeah, yeah, uh, because you you can lose everything mm. if you're not uh, if you're not uh, doing this. Uh, if you're doing it, uh, if you're going all the way, you could lose everything. But that's kind of the gamble, isn't it? And what is then uh, anymore? I think these are these are basically uh, the the ones I use most in, the, in in my life, especially the the bird in the hand, the crucible, and uh, and the pilot in the plane. Yeah, the pilot in the plane. What does that do? What what's that metaphor? Well, the, the pilot in the plane is the, the the one where the with change in the world. You can either react to or be ah. uh, forced of change in the world. Okay, okay. So yeah, and then you have to break all the rules to to get the plane to to land if there's an accident or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah, I love so that. So this is this. There's, there's much more to evacuation, and I I, ah. I will uh, really uh, recommend people to uh, to look Let's into look it. it. It's a uh, mm. It's a really, uh, it's a it's a novel way of uh, seeing business, but I do believe it is uh, the way of well, not the way of the future it sounds so uh, so so big, but uh, the it is a it's a good way of doing business in the world we are living in now. So it sounds like it's a principle of higher consciousness the way you have to use slightly different principles from the kind of logical trodden route that we've that we've um, evolved through. In the 20th century and now we're looking more at quantum ways of looking at the world and something that just when you were talking there i i thought you know actually a really well summed up phrase here that everything will work out all right in the end everything will work out all right in the end and if it's not working out guess what it's not the end right <laughs> i'm just wondering if that kind of suits the principle that you're talking about there Jonas. yes um to uh to some degree i would actually mm. um your your quote is uh is is a little too close to uh to to the quote all good things comes to those who wait no no no, no, no you've got to create no. your future yeah get on the dance floor absolutely it's, yeah exactly. yeah so yeah you still got to do stuff to like yeah and do you might be your own uh serendipity you might be your own, you may you might make your own serendipity, but you actually have to make it. Yeah, you have to make it yourself. So you have to take the first steps on the dance floor, folks. It doesn't doesn't come to you, and it doesn't come free in cornflakes either. You know. So uh, um, thank you, Jonas, and um, for a really inspiring, uh, enlightening, extraordinary, playful conversation today. Jonas, we've loved having you on the in on our show, and feel the love in the room for you, Jonas. That's been fantastic. I so, do. Yeah. it's been a pleasure being here it really has <laughs> feel the love Jonas. feel the love lovely yeah so this show will be on podcast too shortly and um before i get on to the goose for next week um look quick reminder that leaders live is a free show for all leaders directors managers entrepreneurs uh, who are interested in business growth through infotainment through enjoying taking part in interesting extraordinary conversations where together in this community folks we make the world better of folks i love that expression and we want to bring a spirit of freedom of joy of fun and love and feel good factor in all of our working lives because when we feel good about ourselves then we do the best work of our lives and um you know that's something that we do a lot of and talking about that um here's a quick shout out for our um sponsor healthy minds club and this is kathy heath ceo talking about healthy minds club one second hi i'm kathy heath ceo and co-founder of the Healthy Minds Club. We are a multi-award winning, well-tech business offering personalized, proactive and preventative wellbeing solutions in the form of a gift card and membership. We connect our users with qualified, insured, vetted wellbeing experts, products and services to prevent issues and empower positive mental and financial wellbeing. I'm absolutely delighted to be sponsoring Leaders Live and Andrew. 
And there we go. Thank you very much. Lovely. And uh, yeah, I'll be keynote speaking with Cathy. He's talking about high performing teams and how that affects our mental health and well-being um, through focusing on higher values and some of the things that we've just been talking about with Jonas um, today and in terms of what i do just a little plug for one of my processes which is called the big think and it's a fresh approach to team away days uh, strategic action planning where we can take some of the things that maybe jonas has been talking about and put them into place for you as a business team and uh, a new ways of thinking extraordinary teamwork and uh, so i've created this this process called the big think which helps teams to do exactly that and to create new strategies and ways forward for themselves so um if you need any help for for um you know thinking about new strategies and new ways forward then please get hold of me um and uh, be very happy to talk you through the big think approach and uh, sarah just a bit on leaders live for us for quickly yeah um just a challenge this morning mm. really we <clears throat> We obviously appreciate what a fantastic community we're building here. Mm. Um, you know, who do you know that you think would enjoy listening to the show, being part of it, that it would help potentially? Um, we we have such a diverse network of people. We're all so very different um, yeah. with the contacts that we have on LinkedIn and in our lives. You know, who do you know that you think this would help and get them to subscribe? Yep, please subscribe, folks. If you're not subscribed already, it just really helps us. And, you know, you get a forewarning of the show, if, even when it's on a Monday, right? <laughs> Which is quite useful when we go on a Tuesday and we're on a Monday or a Wednesday. But there we go. So <laughs> um, <laughs> the goose for next week, folks. Uh, next week, we're back on our usual Tuesday slot, folks. So back to normal next ooh. Tuesday slot. <laughs> yeah, ooh. In fact, I think that deserves a ooh, ooh and a <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Ah, so we're back next Tuesday on the 3rd of October at 8.45 UK time and we'll be discussing CVs. What makes a great CV? What makes the perfect CV? Um, and hints and tips around creating that. I think that'll be a really useful topic. I haven't got a speaker yet, but I'm working on that. So, um, But I put that into the crucible, uh, taking Jonas's principle here, and I'm pretty sure that something will come out. So the person I was thinking of actually just couldn't make it on tuesday but i will have that sorted by the end of the week but that's what we're going to be talking about folks um so that's going in the crucible this week so uh yeah and i'll let you know who will be hanging out with as the week progresses so yeah so there we go so much more to um to to think about next tuesday we think you're going to love that show so be there or be square and we're just going to shout out now the end of our show thank you very much for coming on um the show everybody and great to see you all this morning and interacting with you all and uh yeah here's our outro so thank you very much we'll wave goodbye to you here just in time thank you very much bye bye now uh, oh what's happened to that where are we there we go there it is <laughs> see everybody thanks again jonas you were a superstar thank you jonas absolutely you. brilliant to have you on the show i think we need another round two with jonas as uh his unicef stuff goes and i forgot to mention his um uh his call to action actually in all the uh, the fun so we'll probably just do that right now jonas so apologies for that there's one thing that i just wanted to mention here which was uh where is it jonas so this is jonas at um unicef here just tell us a little bit about this jonas so just before we leave yeah, um, I mean, my uh, my call to action is uh, is is quite simple actually. My mm. uh, my job at UNICEF is basically uh, I'm I'm responsible for making partnerships with uh, all you guys in uh, in the private sector, mm. so I can get some uh, some funding to uh, to help a lot of people uh, kids around the world with disabilities that right now cannot take uh, take part in uh, in 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 regular normal uh, things and they cannot play with their friends i'm basically here to uh, to make sure that they can play and they can be a part of a, a regular Absolutely. life okay. brilliant but Thank i need, you. I need yeah. friends to do that lovely yeah and your contacts here so that's how you can help jonas so please get in touch with them about unicef to make it assistive partnerships and help him in his role thanks very much so the credits have gone so uh, this was a post credit note so uh, a bit like colombo <laughs> one last thing <laughs> thanks, <Elby. laughs> yeah. right. one last thing cheers for now everybody thanks again yes. jonas. 